Welcome back to Thionite Plays Xenoblade Chronicles 3, the Lavi Sandbar on the last episode. We did some stuff, we did a side quest or two, I think. I don't remember what we did. On this episode, we are doing, um, side quests. Oh no, on the last episode, we got Monica. Whoa, stutters, lovely stutters. <laughs> Monica's joined the party, that's good for us. On this episode, we're... I, I really don't want to say we're doing more side quests, but unfortunately, we're doing more side quests. Well, we might just be finishing up one or two. I, we're getting a rock. This dude wants a shiny rock. We need to help him propose. It's up ahead. I see it. There it is. Well, good on you, my friend. And with it, my sweet Julieta. Oh no, a crabble. Oh my gosh, it's eating my rock! Romero! Ah, return the jeweled pebble to me now! Oh, careful, it's gonna spew bubbles at you! Ah! It spewed bubbles at me. I got slightly sticky, because bubble bubble juice is slightly sticky if you've ever spilled that on you, on yourself as when you, when you were a kid. It's sticky. It, you just need to blow more bubbles let's get this thing out of the way we need to get his rock back oh my gosh one crabble he's perfectly fine he got up and got out of the way all right monica maybe we get a chain attack can we like get a chain attack to show off monica's thing wow it, it really it will die before we get that chain attack go for topples and everything else it's 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 one level 47 crab little pop poggle it's not a crabble, it's a poggle. Poggers! It's not... <laughs> just just cut... Future me, just cut to the end of this fight. It's literally of no consequence whatsoever. Alright, here we are at the end of a chain attack. We did manage to find one. We found it in ourselves to unlock chain attack power. I would have talked about it more, but I'm pretty sure we already covered Monica, now that I think about it. When we first found her, I'm like 95% certain with like a 50% accuracy on that prediction that we actually did talk about her before. If we didn't, oh boy, I'll look like a fool, but I mean, it's not like she's very good at helping chain attacks work, given the fact that we only had like less than 400,000. To be fair, I wasn't trying, but you know, it, it is what it is. Still standing, we got the rock back. I'm fine, my friend, just taken by unawares. Was looking very awares to Riku, Look, we got the jeweled pebble back. Oh? Now you can marry Julieta. My gratitude's eternal to you all. I must get back to where my darling waits and whisper in her ear the happy news. Ah, yes, why not? I'll take the chance as well to introduce my heroes. You heroes to my love. <laughs> my heroes to your loves. They're all the same person. We can have that kind of relationship. Now, moving on. She waits for me in Michiba Canteen, a place that holds a thousand memories. I beg of you, please clum. Clum? Clum. Clum, one and all, to this glorious store. Canteen, join me. You must join. All right, join we shall. Oh, wow, Senna got a rank up. Isn't that incredible for Senna? Good on her. Where's that mist? I should probably find out where that mist is that might be helpful in the future there's a bunch of stuff we're going to ignore it actually all right hold on i'm going to find that mist super quickly it will take not but a moment for 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 you guys it won't take any time at all but for me i'll be like yeah yeah they happen sailing around and around all right to, to the mist that's another quest that we're doing at some point all right we're back and you may be wondering Weren't you after the fog? Why are you in the city? It was like, yes, I was searching for like 20 minutes and then I got super frustrated because of every bit of fog I went to disappeared. And I'm like, what is happening? What is happening? So, so okay, I finally caved and looked it up and then this is actually what we're after. Just up, up the stairs, up the stairs in the city and we get this gossip. There was this white fog and then as soon as they entered, bam, gone, just like that. Man, apparently people are going into the fog and getting themselves missing. Got it, Got it all memorized. Well, that's the fog and the info we need. We can finally do that quest. So now, well, we're convenient. While we're conveniently in the city, that's language. I am flustered thanks to the power of fog. I tried to catch a cloud, but I missed. 
I tried to find some fog. I also missed. But Michiba Canteen is not but a few moments walk away from that location and we can just go and get it. Lovely us. Let's go talk to Romero and then deliver the stone or the new the news, watch him propose. Let's see what actually happens. My Julieta. Oh, Romero, mine. I can't believe you really found the thing. I'm only sorry that I made you wait. What nonsense, dear. It's all my fault or... I, I was about to say it's all my fault. It's like, no, it's my father's fault. <laughs> Women and their accountability. No, I'm just joking. It's topical jokes, maybe. Who knows? Who is this? Some friends who helped me out. They're the ones who beat the Pagul who got the rock in its stomach. I hear that Garrett's here as well. Yeah, here. There he is. Look at him. Wait, is Garrett Julietta's father? Have we spoken to Garrett in any capacity in the past? I don't remember. Is this a, isn't this our first meeting? Uni, how do you know people? Have you been talking again? You know what happens when you start to talk, Uni. See, father, it's exactly as I said. Romero kept his word and found the stone. Yep, that's definitely a jeweled pebble. Did you find this on your own? I had some help from these, my worthy friends, Ouroboros they are, or did you know? Such stout companions. Also, did you know? They're going to end the war with Mobius, too. Well, you've certainly kept your promise and brought back a jeweled pebble. But don't forget, this task was set to see if you're worthy of Julieta. If other people helped you, I don't think we can use it to judge your worthiness. Ah, yes, I see how that might be the case. And what about the other marriage condition? Why, father? Is there more we have to do? He has to leave the lost numbers. To this, I say. To this, I have to say. I won't leave my lost numbers friends behind. I signed up for your Julietta's sake. I fight to save the world for her alone. Oh, my sweet Romero. Sorry, them's the terms. You want to marry her? Retire. Mm -mm. Oh, cruel man, to say such awful things. You never understand. I hate you. Ugh. Simply walks away. Nothing more needs to be said. What? So after all this, the marriage thing isn't even happening? So it seems. Something tells me there might be more to that. In the future, the all-too-honest Romero couldn't get permission to marry his sweetheart. The poor lovers remained star-crossed, burdened by their noble status. Have we? Have we? Curious. Can we discover this? Mm. Good. Oh, there we go. Something? Finally, discovered. No, we're not getting any food right now. We need to find a place where we can discuss the fog, because I want to do that. That can be the last thing that we do for today, maybe, depending on how long it takes. Because I know, I, I know, I know I said I would be doing the main quest, but the side, there's just so many side. We will get so swamped. We'll get so swamped. I've been craving some downtime. As it stands, the second we're done with the, the prison infiltration, we'll be even doing even more side quests. Oh boy, but that's what you signed up for if you're watching this far into the series. Novel book. Novel book. White Fog. We, we went all the trouble to do the White Fog. We'll do the White Fog. So, the lost numbers who were active on Arithia Sea have gone missing one by one. They said they were swallowed up by fog and vanished, right? Right. If we're looking for fog, how about that thick cloud that sprang up near Anu Shoals? Oh yeah, you're right. I wonder if that fog has something to do with the other one. That fog lifted quickly though, and nothing happened, so I didn't want to say anything. But I got the feeling there was something in the fog. The fog we encountered could be the same one then. Kasami's the authority on all things Arithia Sea, yeah? Anyone fancy a fact-finding mission to Vinazog Holm? That's a good idea, Uni. Let's go talk to her. And go talk to her we shall. The Mysterious White Fog. Another quest to do. 
And we'll also talk about the novel book while we're here. What about books? I don't think we need to put our heads together to figure out literature, Mio. It's a rather simple concept. People are creative, they put the creativity to paper, and they're like, boom, a book. Also called novels, yes, exactly. They're all the rage in the city. Some kind of book or something, I don't know. A book? Can't be that good then. I get the feeling they're pretty different from the textbooks we used to have to read. Oh? Different how? I don't know the details. Aren't you curious, though, Mio? Uh, just a little, I suppose. Should we read one of these novels and see what it's like then? Yes, let's see if we can't find one to buy in the city. Oh, lovely, this quest. I don't know how long these quests are going to take. Oh, and there's everything in Colony Mew. We're not focusing on that right now. Not even close. Well, if we're in the city, we'll do the book. It's like, it's right somewhere around here. Maybe, we'll do these three quests, uh, hopefully. <laughs> I wanted to do the White Fog, but the city books are right here. Maybe we could just talk to Monica. Monica, Monica, we need your knowledge. What are books and why are novels popular? We could probably go to Well Well. Yeah, Well Well is the one with all of the Well Well and Borium books. Welcome to Shop of Well Well. What can Well Well do for friends? We were wondering if you have any mm, novels, I believe they were called. Novels, of course. Question borders on silly. What genre friends looking for? What? Sorry. Genre? Look, we have no idea. Okay, what's popular in the city? You want popular novel? Oh, that easy. Current bestseller is latest volume of Founder's Tale. The Founder's Tale? Titles of an. That's the title of a novel, is it? Right on money. Would friends care to buy? It's for $700. I could absolutely buy this book. I've bought less for more. Can I have six copies? Thanking for patronage. Friend choose well to choose well well. I like that slogan. Choose well by choosing well well. Story of Founder's Tale is epic narrative of Ouroboros who were first founders of City. So it's a record that the founders themselves left behind. That right. That framing device of novel. Framing what? Wait, are you sure you can afford to sell something so important for such a low price? That interesting take. Friends certainly have a lively sense of curiosity. Well, well, do one better. Why not meet Miss Leanne, author of novel directly? We can meet the person who actually wrote this book? Miss Leanne often go for constitutional in Verdi... In... Virid... I was about to say Viridi, and that's something completely different. She lady of lofty wisdom, so well well certain that she be able to satisfy friend's curiosity. Well, it seems like we must find Miss Leanne in the Viridi Park. We have to hunt down Palutena. She's gone missing, and or possessed. I don't remember the plot points of Kid Icarus Uprising, and it has been... so long, probably... A decade and a half since I've played that game. How, how, when did the 3DS come out? I don't even, I feel, it feels like 20 years. It's, it's like 20 years ago. It feels like it's the NES 20 years ago, but nope, it's, it's the Wii. It's like, nope. Okay, Ms. Le we're not talking about how time is gone. Excuse me, but would you be happen to being of the Leanne's name? I'm getting the verbs all confused. I would indeed. I, I'm a writer. I understand the intent behind any nonsensical messages you could speak with your mouth hole. Can I help you? Well, well told, told us that you're the person who wrote the Founder's Tale. Goodness, to think that our generation of Ouroboros would take an interest in my humble scribbles. Basically, we don't really get this whole novel thing. Ah, <laughs> of course, of course, it's only natural. I believe there isn't much in the way of printed storytelling outside the city, correct? Yeah, I'd say so. Is it something like a diary? Hmm. Well, you're not entirely wrong in that I'm trying to recreate in detail the lives of the founders. But it's different from a real diary because I've made most of it up. What do you mean you made it up? Well, to put it simply, it sort of all lies. What, you just pulled it out of your arse? Of course, I do strive to be the best of my I I do strive to the best of my ability to make sure it hews close to the truth. 
Wait, okay, the cadence. I understand the intent of your sentence. I just need to think about what you're speaking. Of course, I do strive to the best of my ability to make sure it hews close to the truth. There are so few documents and materials left in the city from the Founders' times, you see. So, regardless, I would have always had to weave guesses and interpretations into my work to fill the gaps. That said, it's probably time to lay down my pen. What? What do you mean? You don't want to write anymore. Imagination has its limits. I find I've come to the end of the line. I just don't know where to take the story from here. But you're mega... You're mega popular, ain't you? Doesn't everyone love your novels? They do, which is why I've been hoping for inspiration to strike. Though, you could say inspiration really has dropped from the heavens right in front of me. Pardon? This truly is serendipity. Would you mind helping me conquer my writer's block? Block? Today's just a day for learning new concepts, I suppose. According to the records, the six founders traveled throughout the world. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look, <laughs> very by merely mentioning the six founders, the world could, like, take a deep breath and, like, pause for a few seconds. They traveled looking for new land. I've managed to pinpoint the exact locations they visited on their journey to further help my research. Unfortunately, I lack the robust constitution to be a soldier, so I don't suppose you would be willing to visit those places in my stead? What exactly do you want us to look for? Hmm, let me see. If you happen upon anything that looks out of the ordinary there, you could bring it back. I'm trying to see if there's anything out there beyond the information we have in the records. What are the locations you'd like us to look at? The Distant Fingertip and the Danag Desert in the Fornis region would be a great start. Then a couple of places in Pentelus, the, the ruins of Cebu and the old Cliffside Way. Uh, finally a place in Condensia called the Eternal Canopy. Hmm, yeah that should be all. So you're asking us to go to all those places, seriously? Get all your hardships out of the way while you're young. Once you get old you can't do the fun stuff even if you want to. I can't hold anything much heavier than a pen these days. Curse this old body. We'll help you, and we'll report back if we find anything at all. Thank you. I'll be waiting to hear back from you young folk. We've made some new friends. I now remember this quest, and this quest is one that will take us all over the place, which means we'll not be doing it right now. We will stop by those locations if and when we go back to those areas, which we absolutely will. So, for the present, we will be dealing with the White Fog. Wow, the game is really have chugging today. I have no idea why. Hopefully it doesn't happen when we go outside. Let's go hunt down this fog. Where are we actually going? We're going to Cadencia. That's writer's block. Oh, we're so close. All right, mysterious white fog. We can warp to all of these places. I'm going to go... The Eternal Canopy is actually very close by, so we can just stop by there really quick. Auto-saving, auto-saving, auto-saving. Auto saved. Oh, there it is. Oh, I love the auto save. Oh, that's Kisami. We're not talking to her yet. Where? Oh, we're probably getting the blue sparkly thing. Give me blue sparkly thing. Oh, oh, please just give me a bunch of Tyrkins to fight and get in the way needlessly. Oh, for crying out loud. It's not Tyrkins. What are they doing here? Save it for later. Here they come. Oh my goodness gracious, two more mysterious invisible androids. Mysterious raiders. As is the case with every other one of these insipid fools. They resist break, apparently. Lovely. Let's get this critical hit rate up going, and we'll just take care of all of these, because it's just a bunch of time waste. Don't you just love wasting times? Unless something interesting happens, we're going to win this, and we'll just skip right to the end, because no one cares about two mysterious raiders. Shut up. Shut up. Just just go to the end already. And we return once again at the tail end of a chain attack. The fight was easy. All we had to do was just break, topple, I think we got a smash off in one of those things, thank you Monica for that. Monica does have a smash art, so Monica is pretty good for that. Still less than 500,000, so again, not the best for chain attacks, but we do what we can. Give me whatever this is. 
A leathery wing fossil. Incredible. All right, well, now that that's out of the way, let's go back to Kasami. Can we just uh, warp over there? Skip travel. We can just swim all the way to Vinizog home. So very simple and easy. Oh, Kasami. Oh, Kasami. Can you tell us what you know about the white fog on Arithia Sea? Oh, you're interested in that too. Monica's already been here asking me to do a little digging on the topic. She's literally in front of you, asking for the same thing once again. Give her the report. Nothing seems to happen when you're on a boat, but if you make landfall in an island with that fog laid on it, then as soon as you take your eye off your friends, they vanish. That fog has taken a lot of people I know away from me. I see. I really want to get to the bottom of it before anyone else gets hurt. So you don't even know whether it's caused by a monster or if it's some new military technology. Won't it be dangerous to investigate it alone? Let us help you out. Wow, the Ouroboros want to help me? That would be amazing. Thank you. Oh my gosh, another 3,000 meters away. Where, oh where is it? Anu Shoals? Is that what they said? Oh, it's just an island that we've never been to. All right, what would be the, the closest one? Anu Shoals Camp. All right, well... We'll go to Honor Shoals, we'll get on our boat, and we'll go to that area. It'll probably be very easy and simple and quick to do, if all goes well. Hopefully. I'll see you guys over there. Oh my gosh, there's the fog. We've finally made it. And the dock that we're not worrying about right now. Please, please, Chase, just give me a place. What is this fog? What does it do? Let me do this quickly. This is just like the fog we saw the other time. I have to say, I don't think there's anything actually in the fog. Hmm. No, you're right. I don't sense anything in there. Let's wait until it lifts, then investigate somewhere else. Because of course it can never be simple. Where are we going now? 1600 meters in that direction. That should be easy enough to cover in a boat. It's already down to a thousand. Do not... Can we push the Serpron out of the way? Serpron, move! Does your hitbox go that low? No, we just go underneath it. Well, good for the Serprond. Thank you for getting out of my way. Or, well, being out of the way. Being rather inobtrusive with your flying. You do your parents proud. Oh, something out of the very corner of our eye. Did you see that? I did indeed. That shadow has to be a monster, right? We don't have sufficient data to determine if that creature is responsible for the disappearances, though. Well, nothing's going to happen for as long as we're on a boat, according to Kasami. Correct. We should find a suitable place to make landfall and search for the fog on land. According to my calculations as to where we'll find the fog... What do you say to heading in the direction of Anu Shoals? We just came from there. Aye, aye. <laughs> as sarcastically as I can. Aye, aye, mister. We just came from there. Set a course for the fog monster. No, that's from Xenoblade Chronicles 1, and we're not doing that right now. That is something completely different, presumably. Future is connected. Oh, I can't wait until we can do Future's Redeemed. I still know nothing about it. <laughs> Gotta finish the playthrough first. And that's gonna take several months. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. But we're here. We won't. We'll put that out of our mind and cry and moan about it later. Disembark disembark everyone off go 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 we have to hunt down what looked like a jellyfish oh fog creating jellyfish we desire your jelly the lovely jelly burger what was that one episode of spongebob they put the, the jellyfish jelly on the burger jellyfish jelly patty burger it's the thing it's a good sandwich it's the sandwich for you and me we fight. We stand and fight. Can't see anything worth seeing in this fog. The shadow we saw wasn't that big. We don't even know what it looks like. We should take sufficient precautions. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. Did you see that? Sure did. There. It's a very small baby squood. We still have to find a squood. Huh? Skip events. No, thank you. I'd like to read the text boxes. Watch yourselves, everyone. We're surrounded. I thought there was just one. Lucky we brought enough fight for everyone. Are we going to have to fight in the fog? It's time to make 
Oh, we actually do. Wow, this is going to be interesting to watch for everyone. What, they're going to be strong? They're not going to be that strong. Misty me M Misty Medus. There are four of them. This is also, once again, the most difficult thing is keeping track of everyone and where they're facing because of the fog. But aside from that, just make a good use of the little arrow icon. So you're always able to figure out where you are. They seem, they all have um, AoE attacks. So if they get started doing that all at once, we will be pretty unfortunately up the creek so make sure you're on top of healing duty make sure you're on top of you know like focus down one at a time get the break topple the dazes off uh, right well we have interlink too even though we're full on health we're at the front take both of them out you definitely want to focus down one at a time and then just make liberal use of ouroboros your fusion arts uh break topple dazes all of that kind of stuff it's absolutely imperative that you do it that way. Oh, Lance is done. Do we have any other healers? I think Uni or Tyon might be a healer. Uni, Tyon, I need you to unfuse. I need you to wake Lance up. Like, immediately. Unfuse, please. No, Tyon, please get Lance up. Fine. Oh, I, I wanted to do the interlink right at the, the moment. All right, it's fine. Uh, can you guys get me up? Can you guys get me up, please? Get me up, get me up, get me up. Interlink. Oh, do I don't even want to do a chain attack. It's not worth the time. The skills would be interesting. I just don't want to. It's already dead. It's already dead. Just go. There we go. Finally. Good. Easy as cake, even though we died. Well the characters fainted we were able to be revived some monsters can really sneak up on you good to know the way they move without a sound it's because they were flying and attack without you realizing because they blend in with the fog makes sense that people use the word disappear it really does oh bye bye fog oh it's a nice beautiful day out so those things must have been making the fog and there can't be any more of them because of the fogs all cleared up this should at least help stem the damage Let's report our findings to Kasami. Back to Kasami. Back to Kasami. Oh my gosh. Oh, don't get caught up with the things. Oh, there's a treasure chest. Uh, Kasami, treasure. Kasami, treasure. Kasami, treasure. Treasure it is. Hopefully we don't get ambushed by the Rhinons. Just let me get my loot. Just get me, get me, let my loot out of its chest and into my pockets. What do we got? We got some money, we got some sashes, some gemstones, some more gemstones. All right, now we can go back to Kasami. It will be same place of Vinazog home, way over here, 4,000 meters away. Back to the camp when we can continue. But we are wrapping up this. I was about to say we're wrapping up the stream. It's like, no, if you want to check out my streams, though, twitch.tv slash Gaming. It's the same as the YouTube. I stream games. Check them out. So the monsters were creating the fog and attacking people, of course. And Anushul, where you landed and got attacked, must have been their nest, of course. But now that you've taken them all out, everything should be fine. You've avenged the soldiers and helped me with my investigation. Thank you so much. You are very welcome, the mysterious white fog. We have defeated them and got some boots. Thank you for your boots, Kasami. It helps me out immensely. But that does wrap things up for today. 5,000 meters away. Will we, in the next episode, go for main story? Maybe. 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 I don't actually know. I, I trust me, I really want to get to the main story, but the side quest, the side, if we, if we stagger them, like, a lot in certain time periods, it'll make it probably later on very easy. Either way. If you enjoyed these side quests, drop a like, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Does anyone like these videos? I make them because I love them. But if you are here watching this, I appreciate you as much as I appreciate sliced bread. And I really like sliced bread. So, whether you enjoyed it and watched for 30 seconds or the entire thing, thank you so much for tuning in. And I will see you next time when we decide on what to do. Main quest, side quest, who knows. Later.